In this video, we will take a look at how to set up a leaderboard with Silent Wolf, a free Gitto plugin. Source code for this project is down in the description, and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's slide in. Start by going to silentwolf.com, and you wanna hit sign in, and you wanna create a new account. Then you see that you have no games, so to make a new game, you press new game. Next you wanna give your game a name, so I'm gonna give it a name. Then you can hit submit, we can press home, and then we can go to download, and if you're using Gitto 4 or newer, download plugin for Gitto 4, and open up Gitto. Then you want to go to asset library, and import, and find a path to your import. For me, it's in my downloads folder, and then I have silentwolf.zip. Select that and hit open, and it will prompt you to install it, press install. Let it install and you should have it right here. If it's not showing up, go into project and reload your current project and it should show up. Next you wanna in your files, right click and make a new folder and call this add-ons and drag in your silent wolf into the add-ons folder. Next you can go to plugins on the asset library and you can hit enable. This will enable the plugin. Alternatively, you can also go to project, project settings and in plugins you can enable it here. In your files right click and create a new script and we can call this global. This will act as our global script. We will go into the project and project settings again and on globals we will hit the file path and we will add the global script and we can hit add and we will also want to add our in our add-ons folder if it's not already added and silent wolf we want to add the silent wolf the one with capital letters at the beginning hit open and add and have them both added to the globals hit close now we can open up our global script and we can go back to the silent wolf website and go into features and set up leaderboard get started we can scroll down until we find this part and we hit get 04 and we can just hit copy and we can go back to get and we can remove the process function and paste our code inside of the ready function just like this and then we enter our api key and our game id and to find our api key and game id we can go back to silent wolf and scroll up to the top and go to features go into the dashboard it's a little bit hard to find but it's your silent wolf dashboard click on that and here you will see your game id so for me it's subscribe and you can click to view your api key so we'll start with the api key copy it go back to ghetto your silent wolf api key here so remove that and paste it inside of there and for game id copy it and paste it inside of game id and we can save this we can go into the 2d view and make a new scene we're gonna make this a user interface scene and we're gonna add a button and i'm gonna center it so anchor and center and we're also gonna add a line edit so that's line edit i'm gonna center this as well i'm gonna move it down a little bit and we can give the text to it so enter name and colon and we can move it out so it's easier to see and we're gonna add another button for submitting the score so i'm gonna duplicate our current button and let's move it down here and inside of this one's text we can say submit i'm gonna rename the button 2 to submit button i'm gonna select the root node control and attach a new script and create then we want to connect our buttons to the script so select the button and go into the node and on signals connect the pressed signal double click on it and hit connect and do the same for the submit button and pressed and connect we can remove our process and ready functions and what we want to do is we want to add two new variables a player name variable and a score variable and we can make our score variable equal to zero for now and when we press our button we want to increase the score so get the score and make it plus equal one this will add one to the score each time you press it and to display it we can just drag in our button to the script and do dot text and make the dot text equal to the string so str and the string we wanted to make it equal to is the score if we run the scene now, when we press this button, the text of it should change and so it does. We can stop running the scene and now we want to have a way of submitting the score. And 
To submit the score, we can go back to the Silent Wolf website and on features and set up your leaderboard. And then you scroll down until you find saving scores. Go to Giro 4 and you just want to copy this. Go back to Giro and you can paste this inside of your submit button. And I'm going to put it nicely like that. It will save the player name and the score. Right now, the player name is not equal to anything. So what we can do then is get the player name variable equal to the line edit text. So line edit dot text and save. And this should now work. But the problem with this is that it will still work even if the line edit is empty. And we don't want that. So we can add another if statement here. And we can get the line edit dot text and so if the line edit text is not equal to empty quotations then we do colon and inside of this if statement we want to have this part so we just indent them and now if it's empty you won't be able to submit the score on the text we don't want it on the text we want it on the placeholder text just like this that will disappear once we enter the name we can run the scene and hit the button a couple times so we can enter our name and now if we hit submit we submit the score you will see in the debugger and it saved the scores but it's not showing the leaderboard after we save the names so either you could uh, instantiate the leaderboard onto this scene and hide and show it when you press the save score or you can change to the leaderboard scene with the add-on you get a leaderboard scene so if you search for leaderboard you will have a leaderboard scene so you can open this up and we can check it out it's the leaderboard and close leaderboard here it's a little bit off center but that's easy to fix we can select the board and we can just move it to the center here it's still a little bit too big but you can change around with the font sizes and sizes of everything save this and go into the example scene and into the script again and when you submit the score we can get three and dot change scene to file and the scene we want to change to is the leaderboard scene so you can just drag it into the parentheses and this will change to the scene if we submit the score if we go into the global script we can also make it change back to our example scene when we hit the close leaderboard button on the leaderboard so go into the global script and we can put in our example scene here search for your scene that you want to change back to after the leaderboard drag it in and you don't want double of those so remove those and save now if we run the scene again you can't submit when it's empty and if i press a couple times let's say five enter a name and we submit it changes to the leaderboard and right now it's saying it's loading the scores and it will show the next time we open it and if we close the leaderboard it goes back here we give it a new score and we give it a name and we submit and now we have the scores we have comment we have subscribe and we have like and if we close this and go back to the Silent Wolf website, if we scroll up to the top, you can go into features. If you have a score that you want to remove, go into your Silent Wolf dashboard and go into scores. And then you want to click on main until it opens. And there you will have all your scores listed. And you can press the X action to delete the scores. So if I were to delete the comment and delete, if I now run the scene again, it won't be there anymore. So I can just run my leaderboard scene and it's gone. And that's how you remove scores. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our Kofa members for making this video possible. If you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out our Kofa in the description and we will see you in the next one.